Hello everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And I'm going to give everyone a chance to actually get logged in. Um, I was in a wedding this weekend in Dallas. The wedding was absolutely beautiful. Congratulations again to the Newmans. Um, Y'all, baby, when I say they brought the true meaning of Jamaica meets New Orleans, it was so much cultural stuff that was um, put into the planning. Like everything was just, it was planned to the T. So it was an awesome experience. And while I was in Dallas for the weekend, I got to experience the Satisfier. So a lot of you all did the one night stand Satisfier and that is the 90 minute toy. Um, and it's designed to see if you would actually enjoy Air Pulse technology because Air Pulse toys are a little bit different than your traditional toy. An Air Pulse toy feels like a tornado is landing on your clitoris. Okay? One second, child. Turn it down. <laughs> All right, child. I had to tell Amber to turn it down just a little bit because I was getting so much feedback. So, again, like I was saying, when I was in Dallas, I actually got the chance to experience the toy uh, because when the toy went on sale, when they came in, the grab bags went on sale. Uh, for everybody to be able to experience it. Now, this was just to see if you would actually enjoy it because a lot of times we don't want to go invest in high-end toys and we don't necessarily know um, if we're going to enjoy it or not. So I really like that this particular manufacturer came up with um, something to see if you would like it before you actually invested in it. Okay, so let me just tell you, this is going to represent the clitoris, Okay. And the other one was similar to this. This one is just a little bit more, um, it's a little more sturdier because the other one, again, is a 90-minute toy. This one is a little more sturdier. So this goes on top of the clitoris, and it's like a tornado is spinning on top of the clitoris. All right. So my husband laid me on my back and put me in the butterfly position. How many of y'all know what the butterfly, butterfly position is? I, I know a lot of y'all go get waxed. And when they wax you, they have you to lay back and pull your knees and everything up. And you in that butterfly, butter, I keep saying butterfly. You in that butterfly position. That's the position that he put me in. So I'm in the butterfly. Uh, I'm still saying butterfly. I'm in the butterfly position. And he turns on the toy. Now, the one that we had, which was the one night stand toy, the one that lasts only 90 minutes, um, it had four speeds. This one has 11 speeds. Okay. So, speed one was okay. But being that I'm so used to toys, I had to crank it all the way up to speed number four for me to really be able to feel what I was looking for. So he actually puts the toy on top of my clitoris. And I kid you not, I came in less than a minute. I, I think I came in less than 30 seconds. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I was like, oh my God. So then, you know, after you have the orgasm, you do something, your body does something called resolution where it actually starts to calm itself back down. Okay. Because sometimes when you have a lot of stimulation like that and it's too much stimulation, it can become uncomfortable. So allow your body the, to actually go through the, the phases of the orgasm and experience the resolution, which is the coming down part from the orgasm. So while my body is experiencing resolution, he takes it and he actually puts it. Well, at this point, he got his finger all in my butt and I kind because, of, you know, we were real nasty. But he takes the toy and puts it over my nipple. Not a toy and suck my nipple into it. Now, if you know anything about some women, they can actually experience a nipple orgasm, breast orgasms. And my nipples, like if you want to see me cut up, 
mess with my breast. I, it's like I, I lose all control at that point. So at this point, now my nipple getting the tornado on, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So again, I'm ex still experiencing orgasm, just a different form of orgasm. People say, well, what exactly is an orgasm? It's when your body experiences pleasure. That's exactly what it is. But we always think about one particular type of orgasm, which is normally the clitoral orgasm. But I received the nipple orgasm as well from this toy. Okay. So then we go from the nipple orgasm to um, be back on the clitoris with the toy. And then you want to tell me about how many more minutes that I got left on my toy. But at this point, I'm begging for dick. And when I'm begging for the dick, he telling me, oh, you got about 80 more minutes left on your toy. So my thing is, you get your money's worth with this toy. If you having an orgasm in less than 30 seconds and you got 90 minutes on this toy and you only pay $20 for the whole grab bag and the grab bag had a pill queen pill in it. It had a uh, strawberry flavor lubricant and it had the toy in it. That was well worth your $20. Well worth your $20. Okay. Cause if you having an orgasm in less than 30 seconds and it's a 90 minute toy, that's a whole lot of orgasms to be able to have off that one toy. Okay. I absolutely enjoyed it. This is what they look like in the store. Um, they're called the Satisfier. Okay. Um, again, this is Air Pulse technology. This is a more heavier toy than the the uh, one night stand one, the, the like throwaway toy that you can have for the weekend getaways. This one's a lot sturdy, a lot heavier. So it just lets me know how durable it is. You twist the bottom cap open it up and you put your batteries in at the bottom. They take two AAA batteries, okay? And before I get off into my topic of perspective, uh, I wanna talk about two other products that just came in. We have restocked the Green Apple Razzles Flavor Lubricant. You know, with COVID, a lot of times things that we just um, would always have a huge supply of and access to, COVID has made it really hard to get access to a lot of products. Okay, so we having to get things as they come in. A lot of times it's issues with shipping and all kind of stuff. But we do have the green apple Razzles flavor lubricant. This does taste like green apple Jolly Ranchers. Okay, I love green apple Jolly Ranchers. And we have a new uh, delay cream for men. I don't know how many of y'all remember Mr. Thick Dick. Mr. Thick Dick was a product that we carried years ago, maybe about two years ago, but after COVID, we could never get it again. I could never, like every time I went to go try to order Mr. Thick Dick, it was never in stock. Well, another company has come out with the prolonging delay cream, which is equivalent to Mr. Thick Dick. I really wish it had Mr. Thick Dick name on it because it just sound better. It just sound more catchier to say Thick Dick, you know, Mr. Thick Dick versus prolonging delay cream. You know, Mr. Thick Dick was just more cute and catchy, if you ask me. But, um, so what it does is decrease the sensitivity for extended play, maximize performance, delay the onset of orgasm, and this is odorless and non-sticky formula. It has no glycerin, no sugar, so you don't have to worry about it irritating your vaginal area, ladies. It's not gonna break you out. Um, but yeah, this is the new product that we got. So let's talk about perspective. The definition for perspective is basically your attitude towards something. And um, if you are on my page, I basically ask you to tell me about your perspective of your relationship or your marriage. I'm asking this because your perspective will determine certain outcomes. I'm going to give you an example. A lot of times when we have a negative perspective towards something or someone, it don't matter what they do, we're going to view it as negative because it's them doing it. Well, if you feel negative about your marriage or your relationship, no matter how hard the person that you with tries, you're going to have a certain outcome because the way you feel about it. 
But if you're looking at it through a positive set of eyes, positive perspective, you're able to see some things from a different point of view. Y'all know I do sex coaching, relationship coaching, whatever you want to call it. And I've been working with a couple and they have been doing very well, very well. So much to the point where they was like, I think we got it. I, I think, you know, I think we good on the sessions. I, I think we can handle it from here. And I was like, awesome, great. Because that's the point. That's, that's, that's where I want to see you get to, to where you don't have to come in weekly or bi-weekly, you know, via Zoom. So I got an email and, and she was so devastated because they had a disagreement. And during that disagreement, a lot of things were said, as in most relationships, when people have disagreements, sometimes things can go left and you looking like, how we got here? How did we get here? And I was, yesterday I was in prayer most of the day. I, I just needed to take some time to get clarity about certain things, just overall. And God gave me the example of a house. Y'all ever pass by houses while they're in the process of getting built and you see the people and they lay the foundation. And then all of a sudden you start seeing them come up with the house. You start seeing the frame forming on the house, right? Now we all know that during the time frame to build a house, sometimes it takes three months or six months to build a house. But workers can really only work when the sun is shining or when the weather conditions are good, right? Sometimes during that building process, they got clouds. Sometimes during that building process, there's going to be rain, right? But because the rain came, it does not mean progress was made on the house. I mean, some progress uh, was washed away on the house. A lot of times we think because the rain come, all that we didn't work for and all that we didn't done, it gets washed away. But when you pass by that house, even when it's raining, everything that was done that was worked on, it still remains. It's still, it's still standing there. It is there. It is not washed away. We did not lose anything. We didn't gain anything, but we didn't lose anything either. And a lot of times in relationships, we feel like because we have those moments where the rain comes and it's cloudy, that everything now is lost and we got to start all over again. But the devil is a lie. You don't have to start all over again. The sun will come back and guess what? You pick up where you left off. You clean up the little debris. Suppose the rain came and it blew some leaves. Suppose the rain came and it blew some sticks. Suppose the rain came and it, and it moved, moved some of your materials all over the place, different places. Well, you know what you do? Before you, before you can get back into building again, you clean up what you got to clean up and you get back to building. Progress is not lost because there's a disagreement. And I need you to understand that when you are dealing with other human beings, you're not going to always be in agreement. When you're dealing with other human beings, you're not going to always be on the same page. You're not going to always have the same attitude so towards certain things. You're going to feel differently about certain things. I just had the conversation with my husband this weekend. I was raised in a house with my me, my grandmother. And I was the only child, but I had a lot of cousins. When I say a lot, I'm talking about a lot. Y'all, any of y'all familiar with having like 15 cousins and everybody at grandma's house at the same time? Y'all eating together, riding bikes together, walking the neighborhood together, doing everything together. A lot of y'all can relate to that. I was the only child, but I never grew up like I was the only child, meaning that I always had cousins around me. And it was instilled in us to be there for one another. 
In other words, if I see my cousin need something, that I ain't got to wait on them to ask me to come help out. If I see they need it, I'm going to run over there. I'm talking about perspective. My husband on the other end, they were kind of taught not to get in people business. And you don't move until somebody asks you to move. You don't come help out until somebody asks for help. Because you don't go over there getting in, in people's stuff. That's how they, that, that was his upbringing. When you got my upbringing, whereas we go run and we help even when we ain't asked. We pull together even when we ain't asked. And then you got this other upbringing, whereas you don't get in people's business and you don't move until they ask. Neither one is right or wrong. Neither one is right or wrong. But it's our difference. In other words, it, it, we feel differently about the situation. Meaning that you ain't got, I don't have to wait for you to ask for me to give you my help. Well, it's been sparkle around. He ain't moving until you ask. I just want you to understand that you can be together with a person and you don't have to always be in a, when I'm saying in agreement, meaning you don't have to share the same mind and you won't share the same mind because you haven't had the same life experiences. Your experiences came, his experiences came and y'all came together. Sometimes things will go on in the relationship where you will clash. And you got to come to some type of agreement. You got to come to some type of solution. And then once you come to the solution, what you got to do is you got to get back to work. And you can sit back and say, well, you know what? That, that storm came. Ooh, and it sure messed some stuff up. But guess what? We back to working. We back to building. We back to getting to building this house. Yeah. So I want you to understand, don't be tricked by the enemy to make you think that all is lost just because you all fell off the wagon and you didn't, wasn't on the same page. Guess what? Dust yourself off, get back on the wagon, keep moving forward. Okay? The surrender, I'm sorry, the, I'm saying the surrender. The surrender is another toy. The satisfier is here at the store. It is in stock. It is on the website. Right now, they are half off. So they are $50 right now. So, and I'm doing that um, because we're actually getting ready for Mother's Day. So if this is a nice Mother's Day gift that you would like to give to Momo, come on and give Momo a nicely gift for Mother's Day. You know, Momo's be in their 40s, not even, baby. Momo's be 40. Momo's be in their 50s. Momo's ain't in their 70s and 80s no more. So you want to get your mama a toy for Mother's Day, come get your mama a toy for Mother's Day. If you want to get your wife a toy, Come get it. The website is right below. And I'm, I'm going to turn it on because I don't even know if I turned it on. So you hold it for two seconds. And I, I, I should have did this from the beginning because I had one lady who had it. And she said, Sharonda, I didn't charge it. It ain't working. My, I, she had another I didn't charge it. It ain't working. She didn't know you got to hold it for three seconds in order to turn the toy on because she was just pressing and letting go. It wasn't coming on. So we hold it for three seconds. You see it? I don't know if y'all can see the little light on it. But there's a little light on it. It's a little blue light that's lit up. I know you can't hear it because this toy has a quiet Japanese motor. You notice that when you get toys that have Japanese motors, they are very quiet. They are made um, to be very durable. Them China toys, they don't put a lot of pride into their pride into making their toys in China. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, but when you get a, a toy with a good Japanese motor, they really take their time in making it. So this is 11 speed. This is the first speed. Press the up button. Second beat. Uh, second speed. Third speed. Fourth speed. Fifth speed. Sixth speed. Seventh speed. Eighth speed. Ninth speed. Tenth speed. Eleven speed. But this one has a quiet motor. Real quiet motor. Suppose you like the eight speed better. Hit the button down at the bottom two times. We down to eight. We down up. No, got to go down a little bit more three times. Eight speed. Because it's 11 speed toy. I just want to turn it off. Hold it for three seconds. The toy powers off. Okay. So that concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. 
I'm about to start making Mother's Day baskets up here. And, um, and they're going to be real nice to y'all. I'm going to take some pictures and post them up. But yeah, we're about to get ready for Mother's Day. And um, April 14th is Cupcake and Condolingus Day. Cupcakes and Condolingus. People say, well, what about it? We got Valentine's Day, February 14th. March 14th, Steak and Blowjob Day. April 14th, Cupcake and Condolingus Day. And uh, my daughter found one day, oh, uh, shit, it's in June, but it's pussy and pasta. But I was like, okay, I hadn't heard of it. She's like, see, my mom helping you out. I'm working. See, I, I already know she's going to be the one to take over this family business because she is very, very interested in sexual health and wellness. She loves to get knowledge. So um, I got to look up uh, pussy, pussy and pasta day because I hadn't heard of that one, but Taylor found that one for me. So um, I, I will let y'all know about that one. Because if that's the case, baby, y'all know we about to be getting these men to hook us up some good pasta. I don't know. I'm a. I don't know if it's gonna. It's a combined holiday to where you give up the pussy and he cooked the pasta. I don't know. I'm, I gotta look a little bit more into it because I never heard of it before. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find out. If you enjoyed this video, send a tip to Dollar Sign PPG Store. That's what a cash app is. If you want to shop online, the website is below. Please like, share, follow, and subscribe. You all be blessed. You all be safe. You all enjoy your day. Today is Tuesday. It is my date night. My husband called and said, what do you want to do? I don't know what we're doing, but I do have a game that we're going to play. So I'm going to let you know um, how, that, how that game works out. Okay? All right. Y'all be blessed. <laughs>